In the world of politics and sport, it was an eventful week. Now the people looked on as spectators from the sidelines, but there were few who would not be caught up in the aftermath as the months slipped by. The week's news included, however, some talking points that will linger for a long time. At Cardiff's Ninian Park, a white-shirted England 11 tranced a Welsh team by three goals to nil. Result of the match was decided in the opening few minutes. Brightest spot in a star attack was nimble-footed Stanley Matthews, number seven. A cross pass to the other wing, and outside left Tom Finney makes the score one nil. England's forwards are away again. They had found a gap in the Welsh defence, and it was the job of the Blackpool wizard to tear it open. In his size six boots and shorts that are too long for him, Matthews left the defenders behind. A pass to Mortensen, and it's in the net. <laughs> England's outside right for the 51st time, Stanley Matthews gave one of his most polished displays. Goalie Sidlow saves his shot and clears it upfield. Three goals down, Wales come back in fighting style in the second half. Aubrey Powell forces a corner taken by Sid Thomas, but England's defence, helped out by Wilf Mannion, number 10, holds firm. Inspired by Powell of Leeds, Wales come up again, only to be checked once more. For the first time for 13 years, England beat Wales on her own ground. To the Welsh spectators, the result was a big disappointment. To the England team, it was the season's biggest triumph. And while football fans had their day out of time,